So at first, Geometry Dash was supposed to be a normal game where people make normal levels and then upload them to the servers. But of course, when Geometry Dash reaches a massive amount of creators, of course, there are going to be people that are going to try to go off tracks or do certain glitches in the game that were not supposed to happen that may, you know, break the whole servers or have an overall negative impact on the game. And sometimes breaking the rules of the game and coming up with some inventions of your own could actually be very nice. And we have seen a lot of examples. For example, like if we take a look at early Geometry Dash where the players were restricted to scaling an object to maximum two speed to two times so this is was like the maximum you can do however now you can do four but in the past that was the maximum you can do and people basically found out a bunch of cheats so that you can drag this slider as much as you want and basically have this object as large as you wish and glitches like this are very harmless and they could lead to some really cool things if you have the right idea for it and in 2.2 now you can scale it as much as you want <laughs> Robtop is like yeah you get a lot of freedom for this one for waiting for seven years we're gonna give you unlimited freedom not really because <laughs> i mean look at this if you take a look at the move trigger you can lock an object to the player x player y but <laughs> where is player two like come on or one thing that really annoys me is that there's literally no way to teleport player two using triggers. You can use this one to teleport player one, but there, there, there's literally no option to only teleport player two. So there are a bunch of restrictions, of course, but we're slowly coming towards freedom. However, sometimes people break the game in unimaginable ways and uh, lead to massive issues like prior to 2.2, right before before it was released we we had a very massive exploit that was found that basically allowed players to include arbitrary code execution which is a short of ace ace which was basically so detrimental that if you played a level on pc there was a chance that if you were really unlucky wait what did i just find this guy's level in the recent tab okay let me just be the first guy to beat it if you were playing a level there was literally a chance that if you're really unlucky you your cpu will explode like literally or they can run some malware on your pc like this is the type of insanity we had with this exploit that was the biggest exploit we've had in gd thankfully though it was fixed and the users that uploaded levels that had this ace had have been deleted and now it's no no more possible to do that and robtop has usually robtop is like really known for punishing people that go into the, these different paths that may lead this game to have these types of exploits that are just very bad for the community. And recently we've had a bunch of cases where people have been uh, getting their levels absolutely removed because they were kind of messing around with the GD as well. Now in 2.2 this is some uh, pretty recent news actually. And this specifically involves the usage of songs that are not available in Geometry Dash. So usually if you want to make a level you can choose one of these songs which are used in the main levels that Robtop made. However there is a glitch that you can enable through well it's not really a glitch it's that you have to literally like execute some code like external code onto the game to modify the game and then make it so that if you click this arrow it will show you the next songs and those songs are actually available in the game files so if you go on to your geometry dash file location and then you sort these guys by type you can see here are all the songs that are in the game and you're gonna find certain songs that just are they're not used anywhere in the game so for example if you go to x step you can start hearing x step of course this is x step and there are electrodynamics electroman adventures and so on however there are some songs that for example where is it stuff like the seven seas which is a song that does not occur or is nowhere available in the full version of geometry dash the reason why this song is in here is because it is used in a spin-off game that is only available on mobile 
And you can see other songs such as uh, Space Pirates. So this is the final song that was used in the first world in Geometry Dash World. So these are songs that used to be inside the game files, but now they no longer exist. With 2.2, Roptop decided to remove them. However, there were a bunch of levels that used those songs using this exploit where you could uh, basically keep going to the right and use different songs that you, you were not able, you would not, be able to use if you wouldn't execute code into your game or kind of inject a DLL or something similar to that. So every level that was uploaded using those songs, like in here also, you were able to scroll beyond dash and you were able to see all these songs and search through them as well. All those levels have been deleted from the service. And what's funny is that one of those levels was actually a rated level. Because what happened is that Robtop just purged all of the levels that had these type of, of songs. So for example, if you go on to here, you can scroll down and then you can see practice stay inside me. So this is the practice music and this comes right after dash. But in the normal game, the vanilla geometry dash, it's impossible to use this song. But this featured level by Toma has actually used that. And you can see that there is no download button. There is no ID because it's just like if you search for a level uh, blast processing, for example, or this level that is basically using stereo madness. There is no ID. There is nothing down there. And a level that uses a song not from that list will have the song ID, size, and all of these things. And in here, you can see that there's no things. That means he used the exploit. And that level was one of the levels that was deleted because they messed with stuff like that. Things like this happen a lot. And we've had a similar situation where Robtop basically deleted all of the levels that had characters that were not usable without any external cheats. So for example, if you type in here, you cannot type any of these symbols. These ones, you cannot type them up there. And there were levels that use cheats that still were able to be uploaded, even though that was an illegal name. And uh, those levels were deleted because people, again, messed with uh, how the game was supposed to function. And there is actually one level that survived this whole mess. And it is a rated medium demon i believe it is hard to search for the level because it basically has a dash so oh there it is the second one this one a dash serious dash or a minus whatever you want to call this so this is impossible you cannot name your level a dash you cannot click this it's, it's not possible so this is basically like a very special level now because it's literally one of the only ones that have this it's just a, a small little lesson and a little bit of history research on to why you guys should not go away from the, your straight path and do things on your own and try to, you know, glitch out the game. Sometimes you'll get away with it. Sometimes it's going to be cool and all. But sometimes your level just get de gets deleted and there's pretty much nothing you can do about it. And if you don't have a, a backup of it, it's going to be over. So, yeah, my advice to you guys out there is just, uh, yeah, use Vanilla GD. Vanilla GD is very cool. After 2.2 got released, there were a lot of patch updates that basically made the game playable again and almost bug free. I still, my game still crashes a little bit here and there but it's cool it's a lot more original and stuff there are still a bunch of exploits that you can do within the vanilla game however when those ones happen and your levels get deleted you basically have a reason as to why what Robtop did was unjustified Yubo. but if you use an exploit or a an external source to modify the game and then upload your level and then it gets deleted then you basically can't do anything about it so yeah use uh, vanilla gd because vanilla is actually pretty tasty and i find it quite remarkable that i found this guy's level and i'm the first like in the car in the recent tab while recording a video that's crazy all right but that's it subscribe bye bye